We heard from the president earlier. Is there a sense that this not being new news is actually a welcome distraction for him because it's not focusing on the pandemic or the handling of COVID-19? Well, I think the president is, is, is forcefully pushing back uh, against the New York Times characterization of his tax returns. Uh, the president, for his part, has said for quite some years that he is wanting uh, the middle class as well as other lower middle middle class individuals to be able to qualify for the same type of tax breaks and tax incentives that uh, he was able to qualify for. He's going to make the argument uh, at the debate in Cleveland on Tuesday night, New York time, that he and Republicans were in favor of lowering the taxes. But this is also, of course, an opportunity for Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden and Democrats to argue that the wealthy and the well-connected have been able to take advantage of a tax system that has, quite frankly, left out and excluded uh, the other uh, middle class and lower middle class voters. Either way, it's a polarizing issue. It's an ideological issue. And it's going to be uh, continued to, to, to fall along the political fault lines that we've, that we've been seeing. Kevin, where are we in the polls right now as we head into the first presidential debate? Because we have heard the president saying that he will be counting ballots forever after November 3rd. How closely contested could it get? Well, from a national poll standpoint, Biden is uh, ahead. However, if you look at battleground states, Arizona, Florida, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Michigan, uh, President Trump and uh, Vice President Biden are neck and neck. However, in all of those battlegrounds, uh, it, it would appear that Biden is, 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 is ahead by single digits, but the president is within striking distance. Now, we should note, as we head into the debate, the stakes really have never been higher for President Trump. Uh, in terms of the, uh, the crosstabs on the polls, he has received disapproval rating, high disapproval ratings for his handling of the pandemic. But he remains to have high marks on the economy. Now, right now, voters, according to most polls, are ranking the pandemic above the economy. But should that change, that would be a welcome change for the president and his reelection efforts. How much of a performance does Joe Biden need to put on? And what are the main issues do you think will be on the table and, and, and used as an attack from both sides? Well, this is a 90-minute debate. There will not be any breaks. And for Biden, this is what you expect to hear him uh, really take on the president for his handling of the pandemic, as well as for his divisive rhetoric. For Trump, expect to, tell, to hear about lowering taxes, expect to hear about the economy and the recovery, uh, and, and also expect to hear about the Supreme Court. Uh, the president yesterday uh, nominating uh, Judge Amy Coney Barrett to the Supreme Court. Uh, she uh, would replace the uh, late Justice uh, uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Uh, and Republicans are hoping for a speedy confirmation process because on November 10th, there's a health care ruling. So domestically, health care, the Obamacare, Affordable Care Act, is also another issue that I anticipate, based upon my reporting, will come up in the first debate.